What, what, what? Hello, what, welcome what back. The heck, what the heck is up? What the heck is up, team? It's the Kind of Famous podcast on the beat. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, Kind of Famous podcast. We the best podcast. Yeah. We ain't last. Not last, bitch. Hey. If you didn't catch that, welcome back to the Kind of Famous Podcast. My name is Hunter, a.k.a. Hunter the Hill, on all social media stuff, shit. And uh, you can call me Nameless James, and you can find me on social media at nameless.james, Instagram, TikTok, and no dot for YouTube, just Nameless James. Just Nameless James. Yeah, I also don't have any dots on YouTube. Uh, it's, uh, they don't let you, so. They don't let you, do, they don't let you do the dots, man. They don't let you do them, and that's fine by me. Uh, how you been, dude? It's been it's been a little bit, like a week since it's we been talked. A little, yeah, been a little bit since we, uh, we've we chatted, recorded, but dude, good. Catching up on, on stuff. Uh, yes. Got a, little, got a little haircut. Actually just got that today. Hopefully uh, you got them all cut. Ah! Ah! Uh, good one yeah, classic yeah, yeah. um i i uh set up a bunch of stuff to get more okay. high high quality youtube content so yeah, i've one invested of, a one little of those. bit um but yeah other than that dude just uh rocking and rolling recording a lot i feel like i've honestly been recording more videos than ever because i'm just trying to hustle grind and shake some ass you know what i'm saying when yes, comes, well, you know what I mean. Like, and speaking of ass, monster yeah. ass. Oh, monster ass, of course. Tell us a little bit about monster ass, because okay, yes, that was an it's epic a epic rollout. Yes, so if if you don't know, listening, watching, um, I came out with a personal uh, YouTube video that uh, featured name Jame here, as well as some of the other folks. Uh, which we'll get into that, and then um, yeah, so f- monster ass is basically. Me with a big ass, right? But the ass takes on a mind of its mind of its right. Own. So okay, let me rewind here. I came out with a Netflix movie trailer, not really by Netflix, right? That was clickbait. Now, um, it was about a world disaster known as my thick ass. So I was made fun of as a kid, right, for having a very flat ass, very Mm. sad. Everyone said, you tiny tush, bitch. Um, And I did what had to be done, and I did hella squats, hella thrusts uh, to get my ass so juicy and big. But what we didn't know was that my ass itself turned into a literal creature monster and took over the city. Mm. And you can find that video on YouTube.com slash Hunter the Hill. And it it was it was the trailer to the part that's coming to the full thing that's coming, I should say. Yes, the full thing is coming out uh February twenty second, two thousand two hundred and twenty two. I don't know if anyone stayed till the end to see that or not. Wait, I just realized that was last year. No, two thousand twenty two hundred and twenty two. See so it's yeah. it's coming out in, in I about... didn't even catch that until right now. Yeah, no. And I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, it said it's coming out in about uh, 199 years, basically. Which we'll probably be alive for, considering science these days. Yes, yeah, science-wise, right? which, yeah, we'll be vlogging that whole experience anyway. But uh, A lot of science. Yeah, a lot of science will happen, and we should be able to make that film happen, right? Yeah, no doubt. That, that was an exciting... You're down, to be, you're down to be in the full thing, right? Because obviously that was like the little teaser. We were trying to, like the yeah. pilot almost. With, yeah. Without question, I'm 100% committed. Yeah, and actually, I will tell you something. Mm. Uh, and I kind of did like a little Easter egg, right? Not really. Um, in the video, we had okay. not Clay, right, as the anchor man. Yeah. Okay. And we had Elliot as the crying guy, right? Mm-hmm. The crying, crying friend. Mm-hmm. And then we had you, the the concerned person that I, my concerned friend that wasn't, you know, wasn't thinking I was acting like myself. Yes. I used the fancy. AI um audio thing on you 
So uh, your voice sounds extra super crisp. Even I, I, did, I put a little phone effect in there, but your voice sounds extra crisp in there. I don't know if you noticed. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everything, the whole thing was crispy. So, yeah. But damn. Yeah. And it, and it took out like any sound that, you know, like of like any cars, That's some cars any, anything like yeah. that. Yeah. And it took it out nice, dude. Dude. Can't even tell. That's what is the AI called? It's um, it's by Adobe. It's like Adobe Podcast beta version. You can drag and drop any file, oh. and it makes like your iPhone audio even uh, sound like a professional podcast microphone. Dude, we yeah. might have to reach out to them. Yeah. Hey, we got some things happening. We got some things happening. Make it freaking happen. And yeah, supposedly they're going to be coming out with some cool stuff like like auto editing a podcast and like like other mic quality shit so oh big things damn. coming from adobe podcast probably shout out adobe i just shout downloaded adobe, shout us out yeah shout us out right now shout us out right now on yours whenever you whenever you're seeing this market calendar i was just gonna say i just downloaded uh adobe premiere oh good dude to start editing things now mm-hmm. and uh i have to say it's pretty user friendly i'm like I heard that. I heard that it is. I get so frustrated when I can't figure something out. And it's my fault because I never read directions or take the time to sure. to, to learn. I just want to. No one wants to read directions. I just, I just, some people are curious. They want to know the intricacies. I'm just like, how do I do this so I can finish and exactly, get to yeah. this final product? I get it. Um, but it's pretty user friendly. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the experience so far. I'm glad, dude, so. because sometimes with those editing softwares, they can be real scary. I've worked with a couple of them, and some of them are like, where do I even begin? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like pretty much me with everything that's like new. And if it's super user-friendly, yes, I'm like, this is the best thing ever made. It's the best thing ever. Like, and I don't know if you use Canva. You probably use Canva. But... I've used Canva before. Dude, Canva, I feel like, is the most user-friendly motherfucking thing on the planet. Oh, it really is. It's so easy to do shit. It's like common sense, which is so... Like, when you want to zoom in on something, you should be able to just, you know, or drag or click or pull or whatever. Yeah. Jamie, Jamie. Um, What are we thinking here? Let's see. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, okay. So... uh, we normally have uh, some other people on, but mm-hmm. today we're just the two fellas that are going to teach you how to be kind of famous. And yeah. um, starting off, what you're going to want to do is find something you enjoy doing, okay? And then you want to film yourself do it. And then after you film yourself do it, if it doesn't go viral, try something else. You Yeah, you try... You try you try something else or you try yeah. it a different way. In a different fashion, yes. In correct. a different fashion. Yes. But that really is it. It's so funny, right? It's like right. now to be successful in really anything that you want to do, like a side hustle or a passion or like a a little hobby. Right. Anything. If you film yourself doing it and put it on the internet. You can, kind of. you can make like, you can make an income, like you can make a livable income. You can at least make like a side income, just depending on what it is and how committed you are and how often you do it. But like, it's crazy. It's, it's actually wild. Yeah. Like I think for the both of us, we just started like goofing around, but now goofers. it's become goofers. Now it's become more of like, we're showing how you can communicate like a message or like right. how you can go about a video on one platform versus another. People can mm-hmm. learn that from, from us. So, yes. I mean like your passion, like a lot of you, not to speak for you, but I know you love editing like video. Yes. Editing. I, I love, I love. And it shows doing in your that. videos because your videos are dope. Thanks dude. Yeah. Appreciate they're you. sick. They're super sick, especially to like me who, I I create stuff, but I don't know the I, I don't know shit about fuck when it comes to <laughs> fucking 
<laughs> when it comes to editing and like making the types of videos you do, I have to sit down and fucking learn it. And not that like that's a bad thing or like it's really hard, but it's just one of those things that I I'm not that interested in. Right. But I love I love the creative space and I like I want to make the things happen, but yeah, that aspect of it, editing videos. Yeah, like. you almost you almost have to have like if you want to do a fancy dancy edit on something and like you want to do it yourself, you you almost have to have a passion for the editing or else like if you have a passion for just making videos, that's when like most of the time people will get an editor because that person that they're paying has a passion to edit and stuff like that, you know. And exactly. like I'm only edit my own videos cuz I thoroughly enjoy doing it again it's like a way that you can use your like your following as a creator to also sell like a skill set that you can earn an income from so like you're doing it in a dual way but that's how that's essentially how like anyone can do it so like if you're really good at like chefs are like the easiest thing if you're really good at making great food and uh you're able to put together a solid like, you know, basic video it doesn't have to yeah. be like over the top editing wise, but like video. a little cooking video, you build that following as a chef. And then if your videos are really good, you can earn an income from exactly. par- partnerships and brand deals, but also from like teaching other chefs how to go about building their following online or like restaurants oh, on how shoot. to yeah, better yeah. promote food, you know, and like, uh, yeah, just th- things of that nature, you know what I mean? Like you can take whatever you're doing, the passion you're doing, show people how to do it. People will look to you for advice there, but also like on top of that, how to just manage being a kind of like a right. creator. Yeah, dude. So yeah, it's literally like, you know, worst case, you film yourself cooking something nice uh, and you get paid because people like the way you're cooking on social media or you, you videotape yourself and then someone like a Gordon Ramsay finds you and then hires you, you know, Boom. Boom. Exactly. and then you're just chefing it up. So the, exactly. whatever it is, it's just a way the internet's just such a good way now to, to be discovered or to connect with people in the same or similar spaces or like yeah. just with the same interests or goals. And it drives me nuts when people are, against like tiktok or posting and stuff yeah. posting and but they want they want to figure it out you know it's like right all the people that want be like oh i could do that but they just like they stop themselves or they, yeah you know, they're like oh i haven't i want to make sure i have the perfect whatever like if you just start doing it you know it will happen so yeah that, then you sure. can perfect your your skills yeah it's around. like it's like anything that like even if you're in sort of like a traditional sort of like I don't know, corporate job, like if you're in an if you're an accountant, yeah. It's like you could be you know working for a big corp like a big company mm-hmm. and you know obviously you have tons and tons of experience and insight and if you're just sharing, you know, basic things that the everyday person needs to know about bookkeeping right. and taxes taxes yeah. yeah just very basic like you don't even need to be an expert um but then obviously like you can get super technical on things like you know that's that's as easy as like sharing a little bit of advice like spending 30 seconds to record something in another two minutes to like write write a good caption put something on screen and post it Done. but Boom. famous y- yeah like all of a sudden now you have this whole following as a giver of information in that space that you have all this expertise in so if you want to you can start your own accounting business uh be an accountant for like people who are just trying to work with an independent contractor you can still work at your corporate job but reap the benefits of like building a massive subscriber base on youtube tiktok instagram like monetizing those platforms exactly partnerships on those platforms now you can partner with brands uh, and deals, like partners. yeah, in the finance space, whatever. Like, yeah, it's just it it does drive me crazy because I, I it's like I'm always so many, people, so many people could do it. 
It's crazy. Uh, yeah, and so, so many people say they want to. Mm, and it's yeah. just, I don't know. It's just a bummer because you're like, well. Just do it. Yeah, you're like, just do it. Just set your fucking camera up. Just uh, do it. Just fucking do it. <laughs> just freaking do it, guys. That's all, we, that's all we're saying. Just stop. Stop. Think. Do it. Just Work, do, it. do it. Put your Nikes on. Put them on. Put them on. Just do it. Um, um, and, and take it from us. We know everything. We know. Because so, we're kind of famous. We're kind of famous sometimes. Penis. Well, all, all, speaking of penis, um, what? I think there's a lot of useful information in this uh, little podcasty episode of ours, don't you think? I'd agree. And you know what? If if anyone is going to disagree, they can just frig right off. They can frig in the frig in the pooper. How about that know. one? Um, but we do appreciate you watching and listening. Uh, and if you did like this advice, please like the video, subscribe to our YouTube, and follow us on social media everywhere. Kind of famous dot podcast or kind of famous podcast. Um, we'd appreciate it. You can follow me on the personal stuff, Hunter the Hill. You'll and, figure it out. And you can follow me. Nameless dot James, nameless James, any of those combinations. Any of the combinations, you'll find them. Promise. Um, and also, if you if you see us in the street, just know we're we're kind, kind of, of famous. famous a little bit. We're kind of famous, so yeah. Frick yeah. <laughs>